100% Chelsea. Last time we spoke at Man City, yeah. we lost. Yeah. Speaking again, we've lost again. Um, do you have any theory as to what is going wrong? Because I've, I've run out of ideas. I've run out of theories. For me, it's the players that are on the pitch. I'm talking about players that are worth millions earning thousands a week and they're producing performances like that. See, see, see that button over there behind the West Ham stand? It says champions. We perform our champions? No. And for me, how we can play so bad to, compared to last season is shocking. It's absolutely shocking. For me, what's going on? I do not know what's going on. I think for me, the players are just not playing for the manager right now. Um, I think they're just losing it. I think they just had it with Jose. They don't want to play with him. There's just nothing there anymore. I think it's just like, it's about time. I think for me, it's heartbreaking because I want Jose Mourinho. He is, without a doubt, the best manager in the world. He is the, as of, the, as of speaking right now, he is the best manager as well. Alongside Sir, Sir Ed Ferguson, but he is the best manager as we speak right now. But I think right now, it's just, it's, it's looking deep right now. I think it's, it's about, it's, I think it seems, it's, it seems to go. As much as I don't, as much as I hate to say it, but yeah, it looks like it's about to go. It's crazy because just a, a few months ago, we were all here jumping up and down, going crazy that like we've just won the title. Yeah, definitely. And um, now the reports are obviously saying this was a key game and had we lost, Mourinho's future is in trouble. Yeah. Do you think Chelsea will stick by him or do you think it could, it could possibly be the end? Because we've all made it clear we want him to stay. Yeah, yeah for me, I, I think they have to because the thing is, who else is there out there for to get? Yeah. There's no one really out there to get. So for me, um, they have to because to me, it's just, I think for one reason, I think a few players have to be dropped. I think if those players that are earning thousands a week, week in and week after performing like that, they have to be dropped. Fabregas needs to be dropped. Hazard, for me, he is, for me, it's hard to say because he's one of my favourite players. He, he has to be dropped. If he's not, he's not in form right now, so I think to give Kenny a, Kenny a chance, give Lofty a chance, give Baba Roma a chance. But I think for some reason, I think Joe's got something against Baba Roman, so yeah, just give him a chance. I think right now, just the team's just not at a good state right now, so I think we just need to change it a bit. But if so, we can just go get go, go and just do some business in January transfer mark, but I don't know who's there we have to get, unless if, if we can get Griezmann, for me, he's a decent player for Atletico Madrid, we can get, or even Usko, but I don't know if Real Madrid, the, the biggest club, one of the biggest clubs in the world, yeah. we can, if we can get him or not, but yeah, just don't know. Yeah. Uh, do you think we'll get through it in the end? Is there light at the end of the tunnel? To me, we got world class players. Don't, don't get me wrong, we have got world class players. And when we're down, we're down. We need to get back up on our feet again. You know, we just need to get behind the, get behind the team. Just keep getting behind the team. For me, I was, I, even though we lost 3 1, I stayed behind. I cut my team off, showing my support. I think that's what everyone needs to do. I'm just staying behind the team and just keep supporting the team. We all have to sit together and just keep supporting the team. That's what it matters right now. But um, yeah. That's brilliant. I'm still sticking behind Jose. Once again, even the fans are still sticking behind Jose. You know, and um, I just want to see us stick behind him because for 